dear YouTube I was wrong I was I was absolutely wrong there's no way about it I take full responsibility keep watching to find out what I'm talking about today hey y'all it's Kyla Denanyo and typically I talk about books 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 everywhere and one of my favorite things to do in my book reviews is tell you whether or not I would reread a book that's my whole thing I was like I would reread this I would not I could never forget the characters blah 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 blah, blah. I was wrong not that I would forget the characters but that it's really silly to only read a book once okay let me explain there are some books that are textbooks okay the book think and grow rich is not a book that you read once you're like i got it i'm ready let's grow rich that is a textbook that is a book that when you are having difficulty with procrastination you pick up you read the chapter about decision okay when you are struggling with something you pick it up you read the chapter about confidence and faith okay there are other books like this one 10x is easier than 2x i read it i loved it i put it down I couldn't stop thinking about it. Typically that would mean I don't need to reread the book. I can't stop thinking about it. I couldn't stop thinking about it because I wanted to read it again, right? In fact, there's a quote that says, the second time you read a book, you don't see new things in the book. You see new things in yourself, okay? And that's what happened with this book. That's what happened with Think and Grow Rich. That's what happens every year when I reread Big Magic. That's what happens every year when I reread We Should All Be Millionaires. Rereading books is amazing. For one, why would you have this big thriving life and only need to enjoy the words in this book one time i do my hair more than once i eat food more than once <laughs> right every time i reread a book i am taking in new lessons i'm in a different place in my life okay let's say i pick up the selection series yeah i've read it before but guess what every time i reread it i love america again and I'm like, oh my gosh, she's so funny. Or I see something else that Prince Maxis did and I'm like, oh my goodness, he's hilarious. Why would I just hold myself to only reading something once, okay? Y'all, listen, I will now tell you whether or not I will, I look forward to rereading a book. I'm not gonna tell you whether or not I am gonna reread a book because I have given myself permission to read books as many times as I need to, to capture the lessons, to enjoy them, to embrace the characters, right? I read the book such a young age and I did not like it. I did not like it. I picked it up again because everybody and their mom loved it. I liked it a little bit more. The third time I read it, I loved it. And so was I trying to convince myself and it finally happened? maybe but I don't think so right more than likely I was in a different place in my life and by the third time I read it I was like oh this is different another thing you guys know I love audiobook right I'll typically listen to a book on audiobook and then if I'm absolutely enthralled with it or if I really hate it I will pick up the physical book to read it okay that's just how I read <laughs> I like to have a book on 1.8 speed I'm loading the dishwasher listening is, is how I like to process my books okay and also it's fun to read books more than once I love the book Big Magic I've been reading it every year for at least the last four years and it blesses me every time I read it every single time I read it okay and so now I'm giving myself permission to read books all the time I mean read it enjoy it pick it up again and reread it because sometimes you have to sometimes you just want to and that's okay all right so if you want to see another video about something that i was completely wrong about completely wrong i had no clue <laughs> take a look at this video and i'll see you in the next one